Canelo Alvarez is a name that the world of boxing has heard too many times this year and a boxer that many wish to see in the ring soon. Canelo Alvarez is expected to go up against Ilunga Makabu, who will be defending his WBC Cruiserweight title in this match. In today's video, we shall be taking a closer look into the highly anticipated fight between Canelo Alvarez and Ilunga Makabu. Canelo is said to battle it out with Ilunga Makabu sometime in May 2022 for the WBC Cruiserweight title and the news of this fight broke the internet. This is in fact could be Canelo's first fight of the year 2022, which makes things all the more exciting. Canelo, who recently defeated Caleb Plant a few weeks ago, gained the hearts of his fans once again. The match was won by Canelo in the 11th round, where his win was declared as a TKO. This next match that Canelo has against Makabu involves him entering into a whole new weight division. If he wins this match, Canelo will become a five-weight world champion. Canelo is known to have fought in multiple weight divisions, including lightweight heavyweight, middleweight, light middleweight, super middleweight, and welterweight. Getting to the cruiserweight division will be another exciting endeavor for him. Makabu recently spoke at the 59th WBC convention and did mention his thoughts in this match against Canelo. He stated that Canelo was making a big mistake and that he will be able to take the Mexican boxer down quite easily. He further added that when he got a call from Mauricio Sulaiman, he was overwhelmed that he would be fighting one of the best boxers in the industry, as well as the world's number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter. Getting a chance to beat such a huge household name is not something one would like to miss out on. Canelo has been on fire for the past few months, with him having fought four matches in just 11 months. One of these four matches included him going up against Callum Smith. Canelo secured the vacant WBC super middleweight title in this match, following which he went up against Avni Gildirim, where he retained the super middleweight title. His next bout was against Billy Joe Saunders, where he won the WBO super middleweight title. His fight with Caleb Plant was the most recent match that he fought a few weeks back where he won the IBF super middleweight title. He's probably going to go back to fighting two matches next year after the stressful few months he has had so far. Canelo fought four times in 11 months, which would have been nine months. Sadly, the nine-month mark couldn't be met due to the PBC and Caleb Plant not adhering to Canelo's terms and conditions. But all in all, Canelo's talent really shined bright in 2021. So yes, Canelo has got a huge fan base in North America, which is slowly spreading to other parts of the world as well. Back to the match between Canelo and Ilunga, Alvarez doesn't seem to be worried about the size difference between him and his opponent at the moment. He knows it would be a challenge, but he's ready to accept it. So yes, Canelo would be moving up by two weight classes for this match. Canelo will obviously have to work on his weight for this match, but still has some time to do so. The top weight limit for the cruiserweight fight is 200 pounds and Canelo will have to look into his factor too. Counting down the months from today, Canelo has exactly six months to rack up pounds, which he surely can do. Canelo has fought opponents heavier than him in the past, and yes, we are indeed talking about his bout with Sergey Kovalev, who lost the match due to a knockout in the 11th round. Following this match, Canelo is expected to fight lower weight classes, due to which the pounds that he would have to weigh would be somewhere around 180 pounds. He's counting on his ring craft, speed, and tactics to win this match, even though he may be the smaller opponent in this battle. When Canelo spoke at the 59th WBC annual convention, he accepted the fact that he was a smaller fighter, hence resulting in a 50-50 probability of winning. But he also added that he's a smart fighter, which is why he loves this challenge. Plus, winning the title will create a positive mark on his career too. Counting all of Canelo's wins so far, the man has secured 16 major world titles from four different weight classes, defeated 17 former world champions, and has won against three former top five pound-for-pound -pound fighters, including Gennady Golovkin, Shane Mosley, and Sergey Kovalev. The only scar that he has to his shining career is when he was defeated at the age of 23 by Floyd Mayweather. Many feel that this fight was something Canelo should have fought later on in his career, as he would have held a higher probability of winning if it fought later. But Canelo accepts this part of his career as a true learning experience that has taught him a lot in the long run. In fact, his performance has been so great that professionals have compared him to some big names in the industry, including Henry Armstrong, Joe Lewis, Willie Pep, Sugar Ray Robinson, and even Muhammad Ali. Now let's take a look at Ilunga Makabu for a quick minute. We know Canelo is not fighting someone as great as Archer Berbiev or Myris Bredis, but Makabu is not a bad opponent either. Makabu may not have as many titles as Canelo, nor would he have won the quantity and quality of championships that Canelo has won but the man sure has the bonus advantage of his weight and power. Furthermore, Makabu having the weight benefit will have the advantage of being able to stand in the ring much longer 
than some of Canelo's other opponents in the past. In fact, Makabu will also be able to take a higher number of punches too. Makabu started as a light heavyweight and was never always a cruiserweight fighter. In fact, his journey from a light heavyweight boxer involved him bulking up and putting on a few pounds, after which he was allowed into the cruiserweight division. Ilunga has been in the division for quite a while now and as a year ago, become the champion of the division. A year ago, the vacant WBC title was up for grabs when this Congolese boxer went up against Polish boxer Michael Cheslak to secure it. He then fought Holland Rewaju Dorodola shortly after and won by TKO. But Makabu's comeback in his match with Tony Bellew is something that has been praised highly and one that shows that Ilunga is not a complete joke of a boxer. However, Makabu hasn't fought a single match in 2021, which makes him a pretty rusty opponent in the eyes of the fans and the rest of the world of boxing. But with the world caught up in a pandemic, having a short sabbatical such as this is quite understandable. Ukrainian professional boxer Oleksandr Oysk was the owner of that title before Makabu secured it. In fact, the title was left vacant for quite a long time as Oleksandr had moved up in weight and in the division, leaving an opportunity for other boxers to land their grasp on it. So all in all, the title that Canelo is going for is not one that has been in the grasp of Makabu for a long time. Neither is it a title that took massive talent nor competition to win. So though Makabu is a pretty solid opponent, this title came to him quite easily when compared to the degree of difficulty that Canelo had to go through to reach the position which he's currently at. Back to Canelo, the man got skills, and in the game of boxing, skills matter more than size or just strength. If you don't believe us on this comment, one look at the fight that went down between Anthony Joshua and Alexander Oisk is enough to prove it all. Canelo is currently the world's top pound-for-pound -pound fighter, and there isn't any major competition for him at this point in time. In fact, he doesn't have much to defend here and has been gallivanting through other divisions to secure titles there. In complete honesty, the hidden reason behind this fight is for Canelo to gain titles across different divisions and boost his career while he's at it. Though having a title doesn't necessarily mean the boxer has great skill, a title is not always a suitable parameter to define the skill level of a boxer. But Canelo is not just a boxer but a fighter. If he wants to ace the world of MMA, he would do that quite easily too. In fact, many even consider him as the new Floyd Mayweather. In fact, just looking through the highlights of the recent Caleb vs. Canelo match is enough to prove that Canelo got game and his tactics and speed are something that outshines any other shortcoming that he has. In fact, it's not just this match, but every match that he has fought that shows that he doesn't only go up against any small opponent but up against undefeated and Hulk-sized opponents too. The fate of the match will only be known to us after it has been fought and we can't wait to see the duo battle it out in the ring next May. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Make sure you subscribe to the Homo Boxing and we'll catch you in our next video.